Hey guys, today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how you can make some easy Christmas signs just using some Dollar Tree window clings and also some Dollar General $1 wall stickers. So for the first two signs, I'm going to be using these little Christmas wood signs that they have right now at Dollar Tree. And what I like about these wood signs is that they look like a farmhouse wood sign because they have like these pieces of wood put together and they have two different versions of them. They have the first one that I share with you guys has like, um, four pieces of boards put together and it's like skinnier boards. And then the second one has like three boards put together and they're fatter boards. So depending on which the, you know, like the look that you're going for, they have two different options for us. So I love that because some things that you're doing just look better with the skinnier boards and some look better with the fat boards. So they have the option for you, um, depending on what look you're going for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up the holes that where the ribbons was at. And, um, you can do this with wood filler, but me guys, I'm very lazy and I want to, you know, just get this DIY done. So I just use my hot glue gun and I just fill in the hole with the the hot glue gun and then I just kind of smooth it over with my finger and that seems to be the trick for me but again you can use wood filler if you like then I painted both sides a matte white paint on the back side and I like using matte paint for this because matte paint has that texture of wood so I love using it for all my farmhouse style projects now the color that I'm going to be using on top of it is a light gray. It's um, dolphin gray from Apple Barrel. And if you guys know me, I love using whites and light grays for all of my kind of decor pieces. So those are the two colors that I'm going for. To get that dry brushing effect, I'm going to use this brush that you can find in the auto section at Dollar Tree that come two to a pack. And because of the bristles on this brush and the fact that you're not going to put that much paint on the brush, that's how you get your dry brushing effect and wood effect looking on your signs. I love using this paintbrush. You guys have seen me use it in so many of my DIYs. Whenever I'm doing like a farmhouse style, dry brushing, wood look kind of effect, I always like using this brush because you get it and you put the least amount of paint as possible on it. Like you can see, I'm tapping off as much paint as I can because you don't want that much paint on it. And then you just glide down your sign or whatever you're using. And then you'll see, you'll get the wood grain effects just by doing this. So it looks like pieces of boards put together because you're creating that wood grain look with this brush and just a little bit of paint on it. Now it's time to create some lines so it looks like the separate board pieces put together. And the way I like to do it is just by using a pencil. Because I use those gray colors for my color tones, I can use a pencil and it mimics the color of gray paint. Now if you're doing this like with brown and beiges, I wouldn't recommend it. I would actually recommend you using like um, paint over it. You could start with the pencil and then you can just do some paint over it with the color tones you're going with. But because the pencil does have that gray tone to it. I can just do this with my pencil and not worry about going over it with um, paint later on. And what I do is I just use the sideboards as a guide so I know where to make the lines at. So once I'm done creating my lines, I like to take my pencil and also go around the edges and kind of darken the edges as well. Because whenever you look at wood pieces, it always seems like that the outer pieces are always darker than the, the main color on top. So I like to do that to make it look more like wood. So here's how the signs look once I was done painting them. And the stickers that I'm going to be using for these are the ones that I found at Dollar General for just a dollar. I found this cute little farm Christmas tree sign that I love the colors that they had. It had like red and that teal blue that I love so much. And this one I'm going to actually use for the one that comes in like four different pieces. And then for the other one, I'm going to use this gingerbread bakery um, sticker sign that I also found at Dollar General for a dollar. And this is how this one's supposed to look. So it's not gonna quite 
cover the sign but I couldn't find another shorter sign for it so I just decided to go with these long boards but you can use the shorter square signs that they have at Dollar Tree as well I think that will look good with them and also Dollar Tree has some of these boards that are in the shape of that bakery gingerbread one which I was looking for but I couldn't find it so I just went with what I had and I had these long boards so but I still like the way that it came out so I'm just gonna put this first one on these um, boards that are the separate four boards and I'm gonna do this one a long ways with the gingerbread one I'm gonna do it kind of like well I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one kind of wide use the wide way and then the the one with the gingerbread bakery I'm gonna do the boards long ways if that makes sense so I'm gonna have this one with the you know the side to side and put the stickers on with this side to side and then um, with the gingerbread one it's gonna have the boards going long ways So this is how my little Christmas tree farm sign came out and I just love this sign because not only does it have a farmhouse feel which you guys know I love but it has all my favorite colors in it as well. If you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that my favorite color is light blue or that teal blue and I also love to decorate my home with light grays and whites. So the fact that this had all my favorite colors plus the red color of Christmas and they pair so well together was perfect and I feel like this is a great color palette that I'm going to use this year to decorate my home with and the fact that I saw it look so great with this sign just gave me the ideas of what to do with my home this year now this sign had another sticker part that said free cider and hot cocoa and I didn't feel like it went well with this sign but stay tuned and uh, next video you're gonna see what I do with it I'm gonna use it for another DIY so stay tuned I got some more Christmas DIY videos coming to you guys after this video so for the next sign I don't want to do it long ways I feel like that the gingerbread bakery sign looks better long ways it's just the way that it's positioned it just looks better long ways and again it's not going to fit perfectly on here but that's fine um i said i was trying to look for another board that would look a little bit better for this but they didn't have it in dollar tree the one that i was looking for that kind of had the out the borders that would fit this perfectly but i used what i had and i actually like the way that it came out so i can't wait to use this in my kitchen i'm kind of making a gingerbread corner so stay tuned for that because i have another diy coming with like a gingerbread theme so just stay tuned i have more diys coming for you guys um after this video and, and later on this week so for the next two signs i'm going to be using these little decor boxes that dollar tree has all the time this one i got during mother's day a while back i got a bunch of them to make um some different diys and then this one was a laundry sign um that i got i can't remember when but i'm going to use the inside of this one um the other one has like some boards in the middle of it so it wouldn't be able to i can't use the inside of it because you can see like the little boards in the corner but this wash sign did not have it on the flip side so that's why i'm going to use it and kind of make a shadow box so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take off this piece that came on top of it and as you can see it was the exact same wording i don't know why they did that but i'm going to save that later on for some laundry um decor diys that i plan to do once i redo my laundry um room so stay tuned for that so i'm gonna save that for that but i painted this shadow box and these boxes of that same matte white like i did all the other ones and then i'm taking the stickers that i found at um dollar tree and i'm going to be using this sticker that says the farm fresh christmas tree sign and the little arrow to go in this little box and create like a little shadow box decor So these window clings weren't sticking very well to the shadow box so I'm just going to take some Mod Podge that I also found at Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section and I'm going to take one of my little paint brushes and then I'm going to just use that to glue it on to the little shadow box. Now I like to put glue on the inside of it and then also on top if I need to. Um, some people just like to do it on top um, but it's which, whichever way you like. I just like to secure it um, with some glue on it to stick to the actual shadow box first and then do an overlay if i need to i feel like if i do just the overlay it gives it um it might move around a little bit and i don't want that so that's why i just do both
Now, what is a Christmas tree farm without Christmas trees? So I'm using these little mini trees that they have at Dollar Tree right now to add to the bottom of the shadow box. And I wanted to take one out first and see how tall the trees were before I actually glued down the arrow because I kind of wanted to make everything kind of proportionate. So I wanted to see how further down I had to bring down the arrow um, before I glued it down. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna Mod Podge the arrow down and then use the Mod Podge for the trees as well. I'm also going to go in with the Mod Podge in between the trees because I'm going to add some fake snow to the bottom of the shadow box. I just thought that there would be like a cute little touch to it to add some snow on it. So it would be like a little snow forest. And the snow that I'm going to be using is that fake snow that they have right now at Dollar Tree. But if you can't find this, you can also use some Epsom salt and some glitter. It would give the same effect as well. So don't feel the need that you have to go find this at Dollar Tree. If you can't find it, just get some Epsom salt or some regular salt, add some glitter, and it'll give the same effect. And I'm just gonna take a spoon and just sprinkle it over the top of it and it will stick to the Mod Podge. And I'm not worried about that it'll get in the trees because it actually will look better if it does get stuck in the trees. So it'll look like snow fell on the trees as well. So don't feel like you have to get precisely in between the trees. If it falls in the trees, it will give it a good effect as well. For the next sign, I painted it white as well, but this time I painted it on the outside, not the inside, because this one won't be a shadow box. It'll be more like an outside um, decor kind of box feel. And I'm gonna be using this little Happy Holidays um, window clean sticker that came with like the gingerbread set one. Um, I love this one. I feel like it's so cute and cozy, and I think that this sign will be perfect in a little coffee bar or in your kitchen anywhere. I just thought it looked so cute together. And stay tuned. I will be using the leftover gingerbread um, window clings on this actual set and create something else. Um, I'm not going to make a, uh, you can make like a shadow box or a picture decor with these little gingerbread but I'm gonna actually probably put them on some tag board or some poster board and then use them as little stands in my tear tray for my kitchen so stay tuned I'm gonna show you guys how I did that but really it's just cutting them out and putting them on poster board and kind of gluing them down with Mod Podge as well so I'm gonna be you'll see them later on when I do my little gingerbread theme how I use them but I'm just using some Mod Podge to glue this one down as well and that's gonna be it for this one So here's how the signs um, turned out and they look beautiful just as is, but I felt like they needed a pop of color. So I'm gonna go in with some red paint and I'm actually going to paint the borders of each of these signs red. Cause I feel like this year I want to incorporate a lot of red tones into my Christmas decor this year. I feel like I just wanna bring that red Christmas cheer color into my home decor this year. I feel like this year, if any year is the year to decorate for Christmas and bring some Christmas cheer to your home, I feel like this year is the year with the year that we've had with COVID. And I just feel like the red tones just really represent Christmas. You can never can go wrong with red because it is the signature color for Christmas. So I wanted to make um, as many DIYs as I can with red tones. And as you can see, I feel like the red just makes this um, decor piece pop. Like the border of red just makes it pop. And I feel like it brings out the letter and Christmas tree um, with this red border but again you can leave it as is you can leave it all white if you want to I know a lot of people are going with a lot of the neutral tones this year with a modern look and actually my next video that I'm gonna share with you guys my next Christmas Dollar Tree DIY video is a modern twist to it I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some black and white Christmas decor and have more of a modern um, decor feel for you guys because I know a lot of people are getting into decorating with just blacks and whites this year so I have some DIYs to share with you guys that I created that are just black and white very modern very neutral tones that I think you guys will love so definitely stay tuned for that video it's gonna be the next video after this video but I hope you guys enjoyed this video today I hope I gave you guys some ideas and some inspiration to create some signs of your own at home it really does not take a lot of time and a really um, you know a lot of skill to create these beautiful signs at on your own and with these stickers they make it so easy to do i love the stickers and the wall stickers that they come up with at the dollar tree and dollar general because it makes crafting 
um, a breeze and DIY in a breeze and able to recreate like the high expensive decor that we see in the other stores for half the price. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.